Hi guys, Bigger Boy here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be looking at some Pokemon cards. So, uh, ages ago, I got a ton of Pokemon cards uh, for my birthday, and I said um, they'd be like a one-off, and I wouldn't, you know, bother to get any more. Uh, and I only like got those cards just for nostalgia or whatever, and um, many because I, I was at the peak. Well, I say peak. I mean. I've been addicted to Pokemon all year. Right, um, back when I, um, you know, was, uh, you know, when this Pokemon craze uh, first began, since, uh, as in this present Pokemon um, phase, whatever, um, began, which was after I um, decided to finish off Pokemon Yellow, and then I went um, and decided I wanted to complete uh, those uh, Generation 5 uh, games that I've had since, like, they came out. And and obviously I I became more knowledgeable on it and, and became essentially addicted. So here we are. Um, but recently um, I, I changed my mind about not getting any more. And um, because uh, my wonderful mother went into Tesco and she sent me a picture of a uh, stand of uh, Pokemon um, uh like card stuff I think it was on offer and um it took her forever to figure out what I want I what I wanted even though I basically took a picture of what I wanted but uh, she got there in the end and um which was this because I thought that it was almost a bit like I initially thought from the distance I thought it was almost like a Blastoise 10 or something with um the VMAX card inside Bear in mind, I don't understand anything about Pokemon cards, really. Like, the rules or anything. I just collect them for the cards, right? So, uh, if you look inside these... If you see... In, when when you see inside these binders, then you're like, Oh my god, he hasn't arranged the problem. Well, I arranged them anyway. I've been one. Thank you very much. Um, I don't care. So, um, there you go. Um, so, back to the point. I thought... Probably should, I'm going to end up saying back to the point a lot throughout this video. Um, I thought, like I said... That, uh, this was a 10. So obviously when it arrived, it was like, oh, okay, it's card or whatever. I don't mind either way. I mean, because, you know, it's got a nice Blastoise card in there. Um, and then I opened it up, obviously having not seen the back of it. And I was thinking, why is there like a ton of duplicates? And like water cards everywhere. Like most of the pack is just made up of this. Admittedly, uh, there were some new cards in here that I hadn't got, but the, all of this essentially is almost duplicates. There's only so little that I actually added to the binder, so I was really miffed about that. Um, but I was like, oh well, it gives me more reason not to bother. But of course, I changed my mind because I went into Tesco hoping that um, they might have some tins left over. Of course, they didn't. All they had left was. A ton of these and the Venusaur one. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was like, okay, I'll just go on Amazon or something and look for something like as cheap as possible. Because they were charging, like, I think it was 22 quid for the tens. Um, um, but on the bright side, I got, well, you get this. I'm guessing there's probably a Charizard one as well, but um, I don't know if that's almost like. Well, I mean, they didn't have the Charizard one there. Um, but I'm, I imagine that um, it, it must be in such high demand um, that uh, they uh, sold out before they even got on the shelves. So, um, yeah. That's a joke, by the way. I, I actually haven't really Googled to see if there even is one. But I'll have a look after this. No, it'll make any difference to me. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I got, before I actually start off by looking inside uh, the tin, I bought and explain the reasoning behind that. Um, I, uh, I'm controversially going to say that I think Blastoise is probably better than Charizard. Because I was just reflecting on it, and I was thinking, I looked at a picture of Charizard, and I was thinking to myself, it's awfully simplistic. You know, to me, it's obviously, it's just an orange dragon, really. In... Basically, essentially, it's almost like there isn't. I don't. I, I'd like. I'd like you to comment below what makes it exactly uh, unique 
compared to other, you know, stereotypical dragon designs. Compared to this, where it's almost like they've taken like a, a turtle or something and they've turned it into like a, like a, almost like a, I don't really know how to, to explain it. It's almost like a, like they, it's almost like, it's, it's almost like the fact, the, like the original element is that they've taken a, a turtle and they've had it so um, cannons can come out of its shell. So it's almost like, it's not like, don't get me wrong, I like Charizard, but it's just, people try and milk it, for, uh, milk them for more than they're worth. And even their shiny is basically just, uh, reminds me of just Drogon from um, uh, Game of Thrones. So it's almost like, you know, the, the original shiny may not have been fantastic, but, but then again, it made it look more like Barney, didn't it? You know what? I've probably pissed off a lot of people by saying that, and the, uh, but um, I was just thinking. So um, anyway, I'm kind of happy about this, and this has inspired me to go on another shiny hunt on the Switch at some point once I figure out what's going on in a minute. So let's get back to the uh, main thing that I wanted to look at, which is this Vaporeon V Max Ten. I'm assuming that's the right phrase. Um, and I uh. So obviously after I went into Tesco and there was um like nothing there except like I said the those V Max packs which I thought I'd been swindled but then I was like okay fair enough. Um should have read it. Well I wasn't there to properly look at it, was I? So um but oh well I've got a Blastoise card and a Sonya card which I'll uh, show off later. Um so um Right, so when I opened this up, uh, I uh, I was worried that um, I got the wrong tin because on Amazon you can get these tins, but they're it's randomly sent. You don't get to choose which one you get. So obviously I went on eBay instead and got this for an extra two quid more than it was on Amazon if I just ordered it randomly, which was like about twenty ninety nine. I got for this which isn't too bad. Um, and it was really. Um, now, I was worried I got the wrong tin because I didn't know that they printed all three of them on the side. I thought it was just going to have a pori on, uh, on it, but no, it had all three. I like. So I'm guessing that all the tins are almost sort of. Unless I don't know how different they are, I don't know. So I'm I wasn't sure whether it was just the lead that was unique. Unless they switch it round. So if it was Jolteon, they have Jolteon on at the front. I don't know. But anyway, uh, they. Porion is my favourite of the original ev evolutions and probably is my one of my favourites actually. I think I like uh, the psychic one, the purple one. Is it is it Espion, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's Espion, that's my other favourite one. Um So um I I'm I'm calling it purple, but it's almost it's almost like a violet colour. It's almost like a light pink whatever. Anyway, so uh, this is the card that you get, um, and there were four like blind packs inside because I was concerned that it was going to end up being like I was worried it might end up. I didn't want to have a repeat situation where I almost order the ten and it's all the same as like it's almost like the cards are already like determined or whatnot. So um, uh, luckily we didn't have that uh, issue. Um, and I bought this nice new binder. Well, I say nice. I mean, kind of looks kind of cheap and flimsy compared to this masterpiece uh, of a of a binder. Because this, this is like a, more like a folder than a binder. But obviously, it is a binder, but it feels like a folder. Well, it could be a folder, yeah. But this feels like an actual like book. I can keep them in. Um, so let's see. Yeah, end of that. Um, in terms of how I um, got this tin. Um, trying to think else, what was it that I wanted to say? Um, yeah, so. Oh, damn, what was I going to say? So I think I might just get back to the point. Oh, yeah, I remember what I was going to say. So you got the. You had all like the uh, blind uh, packs. And I wanted to um, 
I went on uh, YouTube because I wanted to see um, if it was like what I thought it, it was on a team with like blind blind packs inside, and then obviously because that's what it says on the what it was um, sold and saying. But I was just wanting to know what it was actually like once you opened it up, and then um, uh, and then um, and then obviously back to the point. I wanted to know. <laughs> I said back to the point. I wanted to know what other people uh, almost were getting. Um, wait, what? No, as in no. Now I wanted. To, I had a brief look to see if it was a pack, and I saw like two cards this person had got, and then I clicked off it because I didn't want to know what else. Because just in case it was a case of you know the cards the same for everyone, uh, but luckily it was not because I checked back afterwards. So um, I thought for this video. So introducing, the, like making, the what, what telling you now what this video is going to be about, like eleven minutes in, right? Okay, because I've got a got a large tangent, like I always do, right? So for this video, uh, for this bit of the video, I uh, thought I'd um, uh, go over each of the cards and make some kind of sarky remark about each one that I know will piss off a lot of you, but um, uh, I'm I decide. Well, I do take Pokemon very seriously, but maybe on a not on a, not in the same kind of. Um, I'm not going to heavily try and defend the uh, the franchise uh, like it's some kind of masterpiece or something because there's a lot of stuff in it that pisses me off. But um, I find it a bit strange. But um, uh, sometimes I'm like, just don't question it too much. You know, it's just a bit of escapism, isn't it? So let's start off again. So this is the card, haha, uh -huh, wow, that everyone gets in this tin. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm, um, uh, I chose this tin specifically, obviously because it's my favourite. Oh, why is Vaporeon on your favourite? I think it's just because, like, for these, uh, with uh, black and what with black and white, I well, with white I used uh, a water starter, Oshawott, wasn't it? And then. Uh, on Soul Silver, I used um, uh, the crocodile, and then on uh, I can't remember what it was called now. I started off with Todo Dial, T O D O Dial, Todo Dial, isn't it? Todo Dial. If you can pronounce that properly, well done. Get a gold star. Um, be uh, Pokemon number one. Fan, get that badge. Um, what else? And then the last one, um, let's think. Uh, actually, no, instead of gold star, I should have a red star, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, that's an actual Pokemon reference, that wasn't some kind of communist reference or anything like that. Um, what else is there? Um, and then the last one was I went for the, the penguin, Piplup. So I suppose it's just, I've always been used to water stars. You know, throughout my um, history of playing the games, I think mean, if I was to play like Pokemon Red, so I can fill in some of the gaps. So I'll make that point in a minute. Uh, after when I get when I look at Snorlax, um, then I probably go for Blastoise rather than um, uh, Charizard because you can Charmander, whatever. You can get um, you can get all three starters in Pokemon Yellow. Anyway, I've got I got all the um, Kanto um starters um in that game so yeah so i suppose uh, long story short i've just always been used to um water type pokemon so if i were to if i were to actually have used uh, an ev in uh like a, as part of my team or something i probably would have um evolved into this uh and i have the the shiny version on my uh Pokemon Gen 5 game because I managed to trigger the event uh, the Gen 4 events don't know how I did it took a lot of improvisation but I figured it out so yes woo um so I'm um, pretty chuffed about that um okay going on to the next one um M Polion so yeah I when I was looking through the other potential tens I could get I did look at the ten that had this one but I ended up getting it in one of the packs so that's pretty cool um, and I also used this Pokemon to help me cheat my way to victory in, in Soul Silver for the for my most recent uh, 
through in my most recent gameplay of, of it because I needed the last two uh, stars you can get at the end of the game after defeating Red to transfer over. Snorlax. Uh, so yeah, um, I had an obsession with Snorlax when I first started um, getting into it again because I really like wanted like one on Pokemon Yellow, but there's only like two in the in the in like the game, and they don't. But I didn't know that they don't respawn because initially I couldn't catch it. Um, and then, um, turns out, um, they don't respawn, so that's annoying. So that was why I was thinking if I were to play Pokemon Red, just so I could, um, fill some of the gaps and stuff, then, um, yeah, then I'd probably try and actually succeed in getting uh, one and not wasting my Master Ball on a Pidgey. I actually have no idea what I used the Master Ball on. I must have accidentally mistaken it for an Ultra Ball or something. Um... Though Mew, I can't, I don't, Mewtwo never spawned for some reason, I don't know why. Anyway, um, Eevee, okay. So I was considering getting um, the uh, Let's um, Go Eevee game, but I didn't in the end. Mainly because I, I don't really like the idea of, you know, I prefer just being able to mash a couple of buttons together rather than have to physically do some kind of, you know, uh, that's just a bit weird to me. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Eevee's pretty cool. Uh, Tepig, this was the start that I didn't, um, think to, uh, well, when I was, you know, playing Black 2, I obviously deleted my, uh, old save file, so I could, uh, get one of the other stars, I went for the grass starter, but I did not think to select that grass starter, then, uh, you know, uh, delete that save file, um, after I trade it over and start anew with this. So hopefully one day I'll be able to find someone that has a Gen 5 game who selected Tepig and actually trade with them. Because I've still got the case of the legendaries. Um, like the, uh, the, the you know, the flying ones that I call Zeus. Um, so yeah, so anyway, it kind of balances out things a little bit. So, you know, because I'm probably never going to have a complete Pokedex um, in that game anyway. National or otherwise. Um, um but, um, what was it? Uh, I did choose Tepig uh, on Omega Ruby, though, when you get to get some starters um, at the end of the game from, I think, from Pokemon, from Gen 2, Gen 4, and Gen 5, so that's cool. So I suppose I can say I'm sort of made up for it. Uh, Grookey, so I have a legitimate one, even though the, the other two missing ones I uh, genned in, because uh, I wanted the 3D sprites. Let's uh, go here. Grookey, Grookey and Sabo. Uh, this one's like shiny. Like the card is almost like kind of... Uh, I don't have any shiny Pokemon cards in this binder. Some of you might be happy to know. Uh, I'm not lucky in every single area. But um, uh, I have um, got several of these cards that are like this. But I don't actually know if they're actually worth anything. Because there seems to be a lot of these rare cards in these packs but I think, I think i've got quite lucky in getting two v max cards in in two separate packs um right and um, this is just normal subble i chose the um score bunny um as the the starter in sword in shield and uh, i didn't get a card with it unfortunately oh well um Rhyhorn. I I, uh, I I I guess it's it's kind of cool. I think the shiny version does Rhyhorn more justice. Otherwise, it's I don't know. Um, Pinsir. This is another cool one. I, I guess it, it's a single strike. So I don't know what that means. Is it can it do some kind of KO move or something? Because it looks as though it's just it's just about to do some kind of I don't know. All might like Detroit Smash or something. I don't know. At uh, Smurgle, a uh, very weird goat thing. Ledian, um, Rapid Draw and Air Slash. I, I'm just reading off the card now like a complete Spangaloid. Right, so but, but I think one thing I noticed about this one is that it reminds me of Astro Boy if, it's, if he was like an insect or something. If any of you know what Astro Boy is. Um, Ralts, so I don't have a Gardevoir card yet, unfortunately, but I have its, uh, its first form. And it's uh, I like I like the artwork on a lot of these cards. I think I like these cards mostly for the artwork. 
I would say it looks cute and adorable or something in a really weird voice, but I thought that would just be too much. Um, another one of these strange kind of shinyish cards. Um, but the thing is, right, um, single, um, I don't know what the single strike means. Uh, I remember, like, I'm d I do a lot of hoard encounters, um, and, uh, I can't, um, I, I can't, I don't know how to, like, chain properly, because I want to look for a Vulpix. I know you can get it in Horde Encounters, but it's like a really low spawn rate, and the place where it is, there's just a ton of these. Because recently I did a Horde Encounter looking for something, like, like you know, that I hadn't already got, and I just knew it was going to happen. You just knew it was going to happen. It was a flipping another Zigzagoon. Uh, but at least I have a Lanoon, actually. The story behind my uh, first shiny zigzagoon on Sword and Shield, but I'll save that for later. Uh, Cackney, um, uh, da -da 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 -da, just yeah, just you know, a, a royal cactus. Uh, Shalgon, the first when I got this that Pokemon on Sword and Shield, I like evolved it thinking it was going to evolve into some kind of dinosaur because I actually give it a completely different Pokemon. And when I saw that it evolved into this, I was thinking, what the fuck is that? And then I realised, oh, it evolved into that dragon. I totally forgot. So, yeah. But whenever I look at this, I think about its very awful shiny that just looks horrible. It just, the, the, as it progresses, it just, no, no. The shiny for that is fine. It, it makes it look like a radioactive dinosaur thing. But, like, this, oh, God, and then the dragon's a bit, uh, but, you know, whatever. As in, in its normal, normal design, fine, but shiny look, oh my god, burn it. With its own dragon flame, if it can even use fire moves. C dot, um, just, you know, some people, like, don't like, um, Pokemon where they just take something and they just, like, a really simple thing and all they did is almost, like, give it eyes or legs or something. But I actually like C dot, I think it's cute. And then cast form. Oh, wow, how many tits does it have? There, look. What the hell? This is in its rainy form. It's just like Total Recall or something. Right, uh, Wap Down for Snova. You know, what gender is that one? Because I know it has a gender difference. And it's another single strike one. You know what? It'll punch me if I try and find out. Uh, Glamio. Um, what is going on here? Um, breakfast. Right, um, right, so I was just thinking about that shiny hunt I did on black and white. Where I was desperately trying to look for a purloin. I was hatching eggs and everything. Obviously, I had no success in the end. Uh, well, for a pur purloin anyway. And I ended up getting a shiny pat rat, pat rat instead after I, I didn't have a, like, a consistent pattern or anything. I was just trying like every so often to do so like, like about like a hundred encounters or something. Just hoping one of these occasions I'd do it and end up with something, which I eventually I did. But um, at first I was feeling a bit, oh, you know, you know, and then I realized, no. It's a good thing. Um, uh, I heard about this thing called the Cute Charm glitch in like Gen 4 games. I couldn't get it to work on Sil Silver, but I'm hoping uh, if I try again on Pokemon Pearl, I might be more successful because I haven't actually... I, didn't, I never really tested it with Pokemon Pearl. I was just like, oh, sad it, and just played the game. But now I'm thinking, you know what, maybe I could try because you don't know if you don't try. And I think I... I got the same ID, not the right ID, but I got the same ID twice before, so I must be doing something right. But I just don't understand the whole soft resetting thing. So I just have to keep improvising till I master it. Fortunately, I won't be able to get some of the stuff I wanted, but as long as I can get a Glimmeow or something, and uh, what was it? Uh, a Golbat and a... Oh, what's the other one? Uh, Bu Bur Buzil, Buzil, B U I Z E L. I can get more, a lot more than that if I get the glitch to work. But they were the, I think they're the three main ones that I I like. Um, so I mean, yeah, apparently I can't, I can't, I won't be able to get a Sunny Island. <laughs>
because the only way you can get one in in Pearl is for hatching it from an egg. Oh no! <laughs> but at least I got one on the shield in the end, so it doesn't matter. Now I think it's also because I was ages ago. I was trying to ha see if I could have miraculous luck from hatching eggs at full odds or whatever. Um, of course I didn't win. I got bored after a while, but I used all the Ryolus that I'd hatched to help me trade between Pokemon White and Pokemon Black too. So it wasn't a complete waste of time. Anyway, looking talking about Gen 5, uh, I swear I've seen a lot of people that um, look like this. For some reason. I swear I've seen a ton of people that resemble this Pokemon. And as for this one, uh, Timber, like... I like its second form a lot better because it reminds me of Buggy the Clown from One Piece. And then its third form is almost like a... Almost like a... What do you call it? Like a, he's like a macho man. I know, but the second form is definitely better in my opinion. Weebat is almost like... Um, I do like Weebat, but I, I, sometimes I never really paid it much attention. But I've noticed it's got like a heart for a nose. At first I thought it was almost like a pig nose or something. But um, that's pretty cool. A lot uh, more uh, pleasing to look at than Golbat. Flipping out. And I uh, kind of break the streak of uh, first forms uh, with Galvantula, which is, to me, I've always thought of it like it's Pikachu if it was bit by a radioactive spider or something. And then Wooloo over here getting into the Gen 8 cards. Um, oh, yeah, because... Uh, Lack of consistency. Gen 3, Gen 3, Gen 4. Oh, no. Right, anyway. forgot to mention that. Right, back to it. So, uh, Wooloo, um, prefer my rape, in my honest opinion. But I like the fact that the shiny is, like, black. So you have, like, bar bar black sheep. That's, I think that's was quite clever. But it also makes me think of um, chocolate for some reason. reason. I, I don't know why. Um... So there you go. I like how it rolls as well. I don't because I, I know like uh, Gen Eight is supposed to be based on like the UK, so I don't know if they were thinking of Wales or Scotland, and that's why there was a lot of sheep everywhere. Blitbug, tell me this doesn't remind anyone of Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks because you've got the specs and the color like scheme is almost like similar to what like it's almost like a, I know it's like a purple, but it makes me think of a. Blue for some reason. I don't know. I'm not colour blind or anything. I was just thinking. I don't know why I just think of Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uh Applin. Uh just an apple. Like yeah, it is just an apple with eyes. Maybe maybe I'd like this Pokemon a bit more if it was blue, if you know what I mean. I mean, you know, green is fine, understandable. But blue, come on, that's just a the best type of apple you can get. I mean, I know it's probably poisonous, but you know, um, but it's still it's just a nice colour. I, I, it's just I'm 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 sad that I don't see many blue apples around. Uh, pin um, uh, kitchen, pin kitchen, pin kitchen, pin kitchen. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Does it? Is this like the counterpart of that other one, or not? Because it's got like a like. There's another one that's uh, it's almost like it has this kind of shape in. Uh, and it's, it's weird. It's, it's it looks like it's got an ass for a mouth. Literally, what the hell is going on here? Is it like a landmine Pokemon? Right. Um. And then that's closing it off with the Gen Eight cards. We have uh, Corvus Squad, it's a respectable um, bird over here. Uh, your mask, uh, the Galarian one. So yeah, I like the, the variant here. Like, um, I mean, all they did is change its eye color, and you know, it has a different. It has this kind of tile instead of a, uh, like a mask or something, because uh, it's called your mask. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I mean, see the way it evolves really weird, but um, it's quite um, quite unique, isn't it? In that sense. Oh, but this card is great. I, I never really noticed it before, but it's an ice block penguin. Uh, ice cube. Is that, I think it's like a pun of ice cube or something. Um, it's like a ice penguin on top of it, sitting on top of another ice penguin. That's quite funny. Um, in closing it off, we have Rapid Strike Urshavu. 
I don't. Uh, one thing I, I just want to know is, I understand. I don't think it's a, like a legendary or anything, but it's almost like you have its uh, first form. Why can't you hatch eggs from it? I can understand why, because it's almost like an expansion pack exclusive. But then again, you have all these other Pokemon that are expansion pack exclusives, you know, and there's supposed to be like a shiny, uh, you, oh, well, there's, oh, obviously every Pokemon has a shiny form. No, but they're like you, but the Pokemon is like locked, like shiny locked, so you can't get a shiny version of this, I don't think. So unless they're going to do another like kind of event or whatnot, because I'm hoping they might do it for the Galarian um, legendary birds, because someone sent me a hacked um zapdos over um surprise trades um but i think the yeah the galarian birds are shiny locked too i think the the reggies aren't but um i can't i i, I would never have the patience to try and suffer so you know for any of that um but there was a legendary shiny event recently if anyone saw uh where you can get well you get sent the codes for both shiny forms of the obviously the shy the legendary pokemon for sword and shield can't remember their names off the top of my head uh but zacian and zasim i call i called mine zamus because i got shield um cause i think it, i think that's the name of a character from dragon ball as well zamus also i think that's where i got the idea from though i'm not a big fan of dragon ball super or anything like that but i like the name so that's why i went with it um so yeah, that's a pretty cool card to get. Um, right, uh, Golbat and Coughing. I'm guessing these are like the rare kind of dark cards you can get. What the heck is that? Look at his mouth looks like fat. I I like. I thought Sneasel looked right. It looks fat. I don't, I, sorry, did I miss a word when I made that? Sorry. I can't. Anyway, because usually I think I, I say Sneasel. Uh, it's the closest. As when it comes to Pokemon resembling their trainers, I think Sneasel resembles me the most. Um, but I'm um, more so when it like crosses its arms in, in Sword and Shield, it just makes me think of me. Just the smug smile on its face. That's why. Um, what else? No, it's just like. But if there was going to be another Pokemon that looked like me, it must be this because I can't keep my gob shut. Right, coughing um over here. I like coughing, it's almost like what the heck? Both Pokemon could be me. Just look at that. It's really dopey, isn't it? And then it uh it was nice to see that I got two uh uh I got Pawnyard and Bisharp. I got both of them. I think they got both in the same pack. So that's pretty cool to have both of them. I think mean, this is probably one of my favourite Gen 5 Pokemon. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to do about shiny, like, hunts now. Uh, like, on Pokemon White. Because I was using, I think, Route 8, which uh, this one is on. But I'm currently trying to look for a shiny Garbodor, like, on Sword and Shield. Because it has, like, a Gigantamax form. So I don't really want to risk it. But then again, arguably... It's because I brought, I want, well, I mean, I'm kind of tired of what one I'd like. I mean, I, I really want the, the Minchino, Minchino one. That would be the best shiny, like, new, because I know I've got Pat Rat already. But if I were to get another shiny on that, I'd really like a Minchino one. But now that I've said that, I'm not going to get F all. I probably don't even know if I can be asked to do any more shiny hunters now after that. I got really lucky on Pokemon White. But I could do it. Well, thing is, I could. But the thing is, you know, you'll have some success in the end. But you just never know. It's, this is why I like Sword and Shield, like and, and how they they've lowered the odds. Why can they? Have, why can they have just made it easier from the get go? I know that like, you can. They've got the whole Masuda method thing, but where the hell am I going to get like a? Well, back then you had like global trade, didn't you? So you used to be able to get foreign Pokemon pretty easily, but it's not so easy now. That's the point. That's probably because the, the, the game I'm playing is really outdated, and the servers. The online servers are obviously long down. That's why it's so hard. I mean, because as you don't really mind hatching eggs on, on the DS, it's, it's more so. It's just it's the, the hardest bit is almost actually receiving the egg from the daycare man in the first place. I mean, if the odds were like one in a thousand, I'd probably have great patience for it. Because I mean, the odds on Sword and Shield, um, 
I like uh, 1 in 512 using the Masuda method now. If you have the shiny charm, or like 1 in 600 and something. So that's not, that's, so yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh man, you know, just accept defeat. Just accept, be grateful for what you have. So there you go, that's the, I don't know, I'm not even talking about Pokemon cards. I'm talking about my own Pokemon experience. Which I've told. That's the real reason I'm doing this video. To ramble about things that I've had on my mind when it comes to Pokemon. See if any of you can relate to it. But I'm more of a gamer. Uh, I'm a more of a Pokemon game fan. So some of you will know what I'm talking about. Pharaoh. Um, well, a lot of you will. But uh, shut up. Shut up, figure boy. You're just being a spangaloid now. Right. And to close it off, because I didn't know where to put these. I've got another kind of shiny star card. With a Pharaoh on it. And uh, a, Le a Galarian Lanoon. And uh, to close it off, I got both my shiny zigzagoons so fucking easy. Like, oh, sorry. Oh, no. What's going on? I've been leaning down too long. I think my foot's gone numb. Right, sorry about that. Um, so, um, first, like, the... I don't like saying Hoenian. I like just saying the like original Zigzagoon because Hoenian. I understand why people are using this phrasing, but it's just really weird in my opinion. So this is the, obviously this is the Galarian one. So I just watched um, what's it called? Uh, you know oh, what's it called? Detective Pikachu, and I didn't like the film at all. Really, I thought it was a CGI mess. And the, the thing I enjoyed the most was the credits, even though the anime version of the characters looks as though they were submitted by people from DeviantArt. Um, but still, um, always love um, anything anime related. Um, so yeah, I, I got it on like the first egg, full odds. That was weird. The, like the, the Hoenian one. Oh, damn, I've said it. Um, so that was funny. So I, I guess I, I just assumed that was compensation for having to just sit through that shitty film. Um, and I wasn't like shiny hunting it or anything. I just hadn't, I got a Lanoon, um, and I hadn't traded it over. As in, trade it, traded it over. I hadn't bred it. Sorry. So I was just thinking of trades because you can, no, because I hadn't traded a Galarian one to the NPC uh, for like the original one. So yeah, and then as for the Galarian Zigzagoon, I was just randomly just ramming into... Oh no, no, it was funny. I was trying to hatch eggs for one. And then I just decided simultaneously to just ram into them. Because there are a lot of them around that area. Because I was using the Bridgefield one. And I, I just saw one in front of me. And I was like, oh, let's just ram into it. And it was the red one and I was so happy. But I don't think I've named it. I, I, I named it Slushy. But I think I spelled Slushy wrong. And I haven't tried to correct it or anything, but um, there you go. But I, um, it's level one hundred now, so I don't think I can. I was never, I was never planning on evolving anywhere. And then obviously I ended up getting a another normal shiny zigzagoon on a mega ruby, even though um, I, I kind of, I hacked the the shiny charm into the game. So I mean, but even so, it's uh, like hoard encounters. It's a lot easier. Um, so um, yeah, and I ended up getting a normal renown. Though, admittedly, I wanted something more um, unique. Also, I hadn't already got, but I probably got another one of my uh, uh, genning slash hacking sprees at some point. But I, I, I do a lot of legitimate hunts on um, on Sword and Shield because I refuse to cheat on that. And uh, what's the other thing? Yeah, you can call me scum for being a cheater, but we, we it's just a game, man. And what else is there I wanted to say? Oh, because, like I said... Um, and I'll probably, um, yeah, it's just, the original game's just a pain. I just have an obsession for collecting sprites. This, I suppose that's why, I just like collecting the sprites. So, and the same with these cards, it's all about just, I just like collecting, I just like the designs, just like looking at the pictures and so on, the artwork. And the rate and just categorising it. It's a bit of a distraction. I kind of like that. And to close it off, we have some of these energy cards that I don't, I don't, I don't not any use to me. And uh, some uh, ladies over here but, um, seem uh, not really my type. 
uh, energy, uh, I'll show you my type in a minute, energy uh, recycler, whatever this does, and stormy mountains. Right, to get it on to 42 minutes, uh, the number which is the answer to everything, the meaning of life, uh, well, 42. Right, we'll have uh, a look at the uh, other cards that I got in that Blastoise VMAX pack. But some of it's not that, not that significant, a lot of them are duplicates. So you've got this one at the end, Volcanion, but it's not, like I said, it's quite like it. A lot of them are duplicates. Okay, so this is my type over here. We have Sonya. I was just, just, I was so, so, uh, I was so confused that there was no flipping, you know, like a uh, NASA card in the pack, considering it's a water-based one. But still, I can't complain too much. I got, I got Sonya on us, and um, I'm sure there's a certain somebody that has uh, plenty of Marnie cards to spare just to. Complete the mix. I know there's this other trainer that, um, uh, there's another trainer as well. What's it called? But that's one Pokemon Sword B or something. Oh, I, I believe that certain somebody has one of them as well, but I, I, I'm not interested in, in that. I know I, I just need Marnie just to, and Nessa to complete the, uh, the ladies of Sword and Shield. In, uh, oh, well. Because they 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 roll in shield, or whatever. Anyway, here's the Blastoise card there. What was that? And uh, at least I got some new cards out of it. I got I got a Dreadnought and a. Oh damn! It's the wrong way round. Oh. oh no! And there's some of them that were hiding. That's quite convenient. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Um, hopefully I didn't simp off too much. And uh, Officer Jenny won't uh, file a report against me. Oh, damn, we've gone over 42 minutes now. Monkey.